Father in heaven. We want to thank you, Father, for bringing us down here to the church today. Let's bless each and every one home. Bless our going out. Bless us in our home absence. Bless our home and our absence. Let's look down and let's have mercy. Mm -hmm. Take us back home safe. Close yes. our blood. Let us close to our Lord Jesus. Don't let us hurt or harm them. They come home and come home. Continue to go with our children and stand by them. Cover with, with them with thy blood. Look down and have mercy. Lead them in God. Bless the ones that walk to school, the ones that the parents take them. Undertake them, that's how mercy. Bless them on the air platform, Father. Bless them to get in off the air. Father, help them to put the pistol down, Lord Jesus. Lord, they beg they put the pistol down. Father, they will get whooped. If they get whooped, Father, help them to make friends. They look down, that's how mercy, Father. Help them be games and good games and protect the people, Lord Jesus. Look down, help them to take all that hate and evil out of their heart. Look down, that's how mercy. Bless the Bible class in a special way. Bless our teacher, continue, Lord, crown his head more wisdom, more understanding, and more knowledge. Look down, have mercy. Help me to get the word for he teaching about Father. Help me to supply to my life day. Look down, let's have mercy. Bless each and every one I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 <coughs> we said that. Okay. We're in uh, St. Luke. St. Matthew. You told us that Matthew. Matthew? Yeah. And you said 26, but you said we're going to 28. Now, we're going to St. Matthew or St. Luke. Who's one? Okay, we can go to St. Matthew. Chapter 28. Get it, say. Twenty eight or twenty eight uh, verse. Twenty eight chapter. You say twenty eight chapter. Same Matthew chapter twenty eight. And 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 we want to to see how the Lord dealt with the uh, apostles. Someone. And verse 16 and 17. Then, Someone read. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain, where Jesus had appointed them. 17. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Now, how in the world did that happen? Some worshipped him. And some doubted. But some doubted. I mean, you can imagine who one of them was, huh? Right. Yeah. Who? Who would you say? Philip. Thomas. I mean, Philip. Thomas. Thomas. I don't think about Philip. Philip. Thomas. Thomas. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how I think about Philip. <laughs> That's about you go say Thomas. You right. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Philip just came up. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Uh, someone else. Next to 1819. Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, I'll look for the next Go well, therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I will with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. And what is this called then? Uh, this the Great Commission. Pardon me? The Great Commission. This is called the Great Commission. That's right. And this commission is given to who? The, the church. It's given to the church. So to uh, uh, members of the church, they need to know that this commission is given to them. That he says, go into some of the world and preach the gospel, right? All the world. Say so what? All. All of the world. Oh, boy. <laughs> I like that. And so when he gave this commission, he saw the apostles and they saw him. He was seen by the apostles. Okay, let's go in Acts chapter 7. B. 
These are infallible proofs. Everybody got it? Amen. Okay. Uh, Verse 54 and 55. Um, they say, when they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they crushed <coughs> all on him with their teeth. And 55 say, when he, being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfast into heaven, and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing on the right hand of God. They were cut to the house and they gnashed on him with their teeth. What that mean? Grit, grit, grit yeah. the teeth. Grit the teeth. That's true. They must have really had a hatred for him, huh? Yeah, I hated huh? for that word, him and the word. Wow. But he being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly in heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand. What did we say about that? Always sitting on the right hand. Pardon me? His disciples, his parents. What did we say about that? Yeah. Every time, Every time. Uh, a child of God, child goes, God home, goes home, Jesus stands stand at the right hand. Because in all the other places where you read, he's seated. Right, sitting on the right hand. Mm hmm. And so I really want to bring that up a little more. Go on chapter 9. And in chapter 9, someone read verse 1 and 2. And Paul yet breathed and I declared man and saw again the disciples of the Lord. Went unto the high priest. Number 2 said, And the desire of him thus to the matter to the second hour, that if he found any of this way, whether they were men or women, he might bring them down to Jerusalem. Someone else, And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly there shined around about him a light from heaven. Number four said, And he fell to the earth, and heard a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Ain't this something? Now, he's a captain of, he got his own army. See, and he was doing such a great job at persecuting the church and doing everything that he was doing until <coughs> pardon me, Caesar gave him his own army. And he uh, got that army, Fox, because his father had his own army. He was such a great soldier of Caesar. And now Caesar, see, <laughs> The father's son doing the same identical thing, and Caesar gave him his own army. And he thought that he was God. Mm -hmm. While they were stoning Stephen to death, what was he doing? Holding their coats. He was standing there holding their coats while they killed him. Oh. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Saul was doing it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. See, his name was Saul. And what did we say Sister and Saul mean? Yeah. What did you say, a rock? I said a big rock, like a stone. Like it means a little stone. stone. Oh, I thought Paul was a little stone. You thought what? I thought Paul was a little stone. A Paul, okay. So what Saul is a Saul? Was Saul was a big stone. A big, big boulder, like a big rock. <laughs> you all remember that, ain't that something? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, see, but after Jesus saved him, what did he become? He became Paul. Paul. He be yeah, he became Paul, which is what? A little star. A little, a little star. Well, okay, now why was Saul be See, Jesus star? is, what is Jesus? Jesus? Wait a minute, I ain't going to leave you. 
What is Jesus? The rock. Well, say it then. He's the rock. He's the rock. Jesus is the rock, right? Right. Jesus is the rock. Right. Right. Yes. So Paul couldn't be a rock also. Right. 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 Jesus is the rock. Right. 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 Up under the rock. Now, what were you saying? Uh, oh, you just answered the question. Okay. And so I just wanted to see if you all remember that because it's important. He was big in Caesar's army. Right. But he's small now. He done met the chief of chiefs. He, 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 he's dealing now with the king of kings. Right? Amen. Yeah. Where did we start? You started five. Where we at? Four and five? I read four. We had six, right? I read four. Started we'll read five. it up, sister. So six say, and he jumped five, 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 five say, and he said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus whom thou that, whom that prosecute. Persecuted. Persecute. It is hard for the, the to kick to the prick. It is hard for thee to kick against the prick. Uh -huh. And six say, and he trembled and, and, and astonished, saying, Lord, what will thou have me to do? And the Lord said unto him, Arise, and go into the city, and it shall be told thee what thou must do. So if he wouldn't say, why would he call Jesus Lord? He was, because he had. He was addressing him as like in an endearing way, just say like, sir, you know. Not to call him Lord. He was of giving them respect as being a man, not yeah, God. Right. Not calling him the Lord of the Lord, but just calling him mm -hmm. Sir. You know, someone says, Good morning, sir. How are you, man? Right? No. Things like that. That's what he was doing. Necessary. Yeah, just as right. He was, he was just respecting him as being a man. Right. Because okay. he didn't know who he was in, in, uh, spiritually. Right. Yeah. Someone else, come over here. So he had seven? Yeah. The, <clears throat> the men traveling with Saul stood there speechless. They heard the sound but didn't see anyone. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he couldn't see nothing. So they led him by the hand into Damascus. And so what's happening to him at this point? <coughs> he's he can't right. see nothing? Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he's, uh, he appears to be deranged. I mean, what's going on with him? Can you see? You see? You're in the process of getting okay. right. Process. Yeah. Process. This is a sign of the new birth. Right. right. Because once his eyes come open, what will he see? He'll see things differently from right. the way he saw them. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. He'll he'll have different understanding. My he'll he'll look at in a different way. Everything's gonna be different now. You can't meet the Lord, uh, 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 be in relation with him, and be the same old man. Yeah. man. Right. Everything changed. He's brand new. Right, everything changed. Like come, yeah. come, come, come to light. Yeah. <coughs> and that's why I really want to take a good look at that to see. Turn to 1 Corinthians 15, Michael. Okay, we finished with that? Yeah. 1 Corinthians 15. That was the main, the crux of it that I want you all to see, that he saw him for himself. But yet you hear people say, no man has seen God. Huh? Jesus. <laughs> Who is Jesus, Father? Is he a friend of God or what? Say it another way. God the Son. Turn it, turn it around. He is God the Son. Son of God. Now turn it around. God the Son. God the Son. See? No matter how you look at it, you'll come up with the right thing if you got him first. <laughs> yeah, you got him in focus on who he really is. He is God. Amen. And whoever the enemy can, can tempt mother, to make them think otherwise, they're looking at the so where can a man be God? You'll hear all kinds of questions. Huh? Uh-huh. Amen. That's earthly and not spiritual. Amen. Worldly and not spiritual. Yeah. Okay. 
In 1 Corinthians 15, look at verses, uh, here it is, in verse uh, 1 and 2 somewhere. Whoa, brother, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you, which also ye have received. And I and wherein ye stand. Number two says, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preach unto you. Unless ye have believed in that. And so he's he's letting them know, I'm giving you a summary of the gospel, but if you don't truly believe this, whatever you do believe, it's going to be in vain. It'll be useless. Yeah. Someone three and four. For I delivered to you first of all that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. See, not according to what we think, but we keep saying it's according to the scriptures. Someone else. And that he was seen of, of Cyprus. Cyprus. Cyprus, then of the twelve. Uh -huh. Six is that after that he was seen of above, above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remains until the present, but some are falling asleep. Some have, have left this life and, and gone to be with the Lord, but the greater part of them is still here, he said. See? And so these are what? Eyewitnesses. Come on, y'all. They seen it. They heard it. Talking. Yeah. Many of them touched him. How can you touch a ghost? You can't. You can't, can Because the ghost is only a what? A spirit. A spirit. And nobody. Right. Yeah. Okay, next to someone. After that, he was seen of James, then of all the apostles, number eight, and last of all, he was seen of me also, as the one born out of due time. Oh my goodness! Ain't this beautiful? Mm -hmm. With this kind, with this kind of testimony, you can't go wrong, right? Amen. Amen. This, this, this is not just just talk. These are facts. These things really happen. Right. Amen. Yeah. We're not reading a. a, a uh, a worldly book, we reading the scripture. The word, the word that who wrote? That God. God. God wrote it. Amen. Where we at? Number nine. Number nine? Go ahead and read it. Nine and ten. For I am the least of the apostles that am not need to be called an apostle because I persecute the church of God. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Look at this. You hear what he said? Huh? An apostle because I persecuted the church of God. He's saying he ain't worthy to be called apostle. Because he persecuted the, the church of God. How did God look at this? He ain't saying nothing. He looked at it as he Say he now. did it through ignorance. Right. Now oh, come on, y'all. Brand new he didn't know what he was doing. Right. Right. Yeah. He did it through ignorance. And the Lord did what? Forgave him. Forgave him. Save his soul. Yeah, he knew he didn't know what he was talking about. See, I persecuted the church of God. Wow. Hmm. That is so beautiful. Come on, verse 10. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace, which was betold upon, betold upon me, was not in vain. Mm -hmm. But I labored more abundantly than they all. See? But yeah. I laid more abundant than all other people. I worked more harder. I was, I was more into the ministry, everything, than all the rest of them. Yeah. See, the Lord knew before he saved each one of us. He knew how much you were going to give to the ministry. If you're just going to give 20%, 30% or 40%, he already knows what you're going to give, right? Yeah, yeah that's what it's saying. 
Yeah. If you're sincere or you're just doing something, going with the motions or whatever it is, he, he knows all that. Okay, Revelation chapter 1. Get it, say amen. We ready? Verse 4 and 5, someone. John to the seven churches, which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before the throne. What is, what is, what is John saying in there, man? What is he saying? Which is, which was, and which is to come. And which is to come. Like Who is that? He's talking to all the churches. The Lord. Who just? That's the Lord. He's and then. He said the Lord. No. That's the Lord. Yeah. You need to be able to recognize him other than using his name. Okay. Uh, explain that from him then. What does it say? It said, it it said, said to John, the seven churches the seven which churches. are in age of grace, peace, and you, uh -huh. and peace from him. Which is and which the is The peace God, comes from God. And we, which is God. We, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne. Between God and the church, how does peace uh, uh, exhibit? It's three dimensional. God Tell me Father. about it. What are the three dimensions? God, the God, Father, Father, Son, and Holy Ah, I said peace. Oh, peace. <laughs> peace. Okay, what's the three The peace of God is, is three dimensional. Well, what peace it's peace of God. Peace of we God. have peace of God. Uh -huh. What else, Mother? God. Come on, give what it's not. It's peace with God. Oh, and what else is? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Oh, God. God. <laughs> okay. Peace. What is it, man? Uh, you said it's the peace. Tell huh? me. Peace with God and peace with God. You said God. what? The peace with God. The peace, God. peace of God. Of God or was God. The peace of God. Was God. Yeah. No, peace of God. He gives that to us. Okay. He gives us peace with him. Right. What else he give us, Michelle? Peace from him. Pardon me? Peace from him. You said peace, peace from, from him? Peace of him, peace of God. Peace from God. And peace with God. Okay. You see? Okay, say it again. Peace with peace God. God. Peace from God. Peace of God. And peace of and God. And peace from God. The peace comes from God. Right. Yeah. And the peace is, what's the last one? With God. With, with God. Peace with God. We have that, mother, oh, in three that. ways. Okay, peace with God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. peace and God. so told it's peace important God, for us to see God. that everything with him is three-dimensional. What did the scripture say, mother, about peace. a three-fold call? Of God and from God. Three-fold. Of God and from God. Three-fold, what I mean? A threefold cord. Okay, it's strong and it can't be broken. What would happen if you plait your baby's hair with one string? Can't pull it out. Can you, it can you pull it out? No. If you plait one string, you pull it right on out. Pull it right on out there, yeah. What about two? Well, it, 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 you it, it, still can pull it out. out. But if you keep breaking well, what about it, three? It's harder to pull out. You tear the hair out there. Well, first you got it break. You said. I know it, sweetie. So I said that. I'm, 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 I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get to the significance of the threefold, the three plates. Yeah, because I saw a fight. You can't, you can't pull that. Somebody pulling somebody's hair, it's hard to pull out with the head and braid, you know, with the Sure. And that's why it says a threefold cord is not easily broken. Now give me a spiritual threefold cord, Lisa. Lisa. Leah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the father is there it is. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's your threefold cause. Father, Amen. See? All right, where we at? Okay. Where we at? Uh, so who bear? Who bear? Uh, what okay, verse? Okay, so and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, 
and washed us from our sin in his own blood. This is the bottom line of it. Can't nothing override this. Can't nothing take it away. Can't nothing do anything with this. This is the what? He just said it. Wow. Gospel. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Everything that that the Lord did, he did it for us through his blood. Amen. All right then. I, I, I was hoping to hear something. <laughs> Verse 7 and 8. Come on. 6, you mean 6. Uh -huh. and, and he, Huh? Yeah. We just read six. Not read really five. Really five. Oh, five, okay. And has made us kings and priests in this God and Father. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever. And so this is something that needs to stick with you for the rest of your life. That you are a king and a priest. We are kings. Say that. We are kings. And priests. And priests. To our God. God. How do you think he's the king of kings? Come on, talk to me. Yeah, king <laughs> Where's the kings that he's king over? Huh? Where's the kings at that he's king of? He said kings right of here, kings. Right here, right. It ain't just talking about uh, presidents over countries in the world. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I got a question. It's a we're going to be made kings and priests. Now we're going to be both kings and priests. I need some clarification on that. How can we be, be both? Right. How are we going to be both? Kings to be in relationship with Jesus. Okay. He's both of them. Right. And now he's telling us he king, that he king. makes his people to he be kings and priests, and priests of God. That's how. Okay, we're going to be kings and priests at the same time. How come it don't say queen? Because there ain't no gender. Well, all right then. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you answer that one, right? <laughs> yeah. And that's the reason why. But because he said kings and priests, thank you, Jesus. Say that. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. We ought to be grateful. Go ahead and pick it up from there. Sorry, it says, behold, he is covered with clouds, and every eye will see him. Even they who pierce him, and all the tribes of the earth were born because of him. Even so, amen. He says, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning uh -huh. of the end, says the Lord, who is, and who is, and who was, and who is to come, the Almighty. So, Samaria, what is that? Alpha and Omega. Alpha and Omega. This is Greek, Greek language, right? Uh, yeah, but I don't know. What do these words refer to? Yeah. Uh, alpha is the first letter in the Greek alphabet, and uh, Omega is the last letter. In the Greek alphabet. Yeah, these are these oh, are man. Greek words, but <laughs> Alpha Omega. What is he saying? What is he saying? That God is the beginning and end. He is the beginning and he's the end. He, 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 yeah. he just told you. He said Alpha is the first word right. of the Greek language, mm -hmm. and Omega is the last word. Right. So he's telling you, I am the first, first and the last. And the last. Ain't nobody before him, and ain't nobody coming after him. Satan sure ain't gonna make it. He's defeated already, Amen. right? Amen. Amen. How come he can't be God? He wants to be God bad from Ezekiel 28, but yeah. how come he can't be God? Because he's created. Why? What's the one thing of uh, Michelle that's keeping him from being God? What? He's not steady. Not created either. Oh, he's a part of creation. That's the, that's the main thing that knocks him out of the race. He has a beginning. God has no beginning. Yeah. The only way he could be God, he has to be. He has to be eternal. He, he can. I mean, he 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 can. Jesus create. said, "I'm the self-existent one." Yeah. He had to always exist. Self-existent. Creation means right. there's a beginning. Right? right. Can be, God can't be created. He has to always to have existed. Yeah. No beginning, no end. First and the last. Alpha, Omega. Beautiful. Where we at? Verse 9. Read 9 and 10. 
I, John, who also am your brother and companion in, in tribulations and the kingdom of the patient of Jesus, the isle of, that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Why would he say I was in the isle called Patmos for the word of God, sister? Do it make sense? Yeah, everything he does, it makes sense he was on the aisle of Patmos. Every time a person breaks the law, the, the, the criminal court will, will sentence them. Ain't that right? Right. right. He broke the law. Their law. They yeah. And this was his punishment. To be on an island where no other people were. Right. So he don't have anybody. Just him and some animals. That's it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And when you think about this, I mean, it's awesome. It, how can you exist or consist with no no other people around? Can you stay sane? What happens, so What you say? Wait a minute. If nobody was here but you, could you stay sane? Yeah, through the cry, I can stay sane because I mean, Jesus Christ. What you think, Al? I don't think that. we're here. If there was nobody here but you, nobody to talk to, no nothing. I can have a relationship with, with him. Yeah. With God, with God. Well, this is what happened to John, Mama. He's he's on the island all by himself, no people, so you don't think no I wife, no friend, no nothing. How could he? How could he consist? Exist? The Lord was with him. But see, the people that put him out there, they put him out there for uh, uh, to be banished and, and punished, but the Lord didn't let that happen. Why? Because of what happened from the... Uh, uh, they, they, they left death. Because of the word of God. Yes. Go ahead, read the next one. They say, I was, at the, I was in the spirit on the Lord day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. See? Does your word spirit have a capital S on it? Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Mm. So this ain't talking about any kind of spirit, is it? No. What kind of spirit is it talking about? It's the spirit of the Holy Ghost. God. God. Spirit of the Lord. And what is it? Who, what is that? Okay, right now, if you say you're in the Spirit, are you in Jesus or are you in the Holy Ghost? Holy Spirit. Which is Jesus? This is what he referring to. Because the two are what? One. One. Yeah. But it's the way he's saying, I was in the Spirit. You say on the Lord's day. On the Lord's day. On the Lord's day. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And heard behind me a great voice sounding like a what? A trumpet. A trumpet. What that mean, mother? It was a loud one. Really he wasn't loud. whispering. It was alarming. It was alarming. He wasn't whispering. <laughs> it was alarming. Uh huh. Come on, a couple more verses. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what does see? Write in a book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto the Ephesians, Ephesus, Ephesus, and Smyrna, 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 Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, Pergamos, Pergamos, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, Laodicea, Laodicea. Yeah, ain't that something? This is the job that the Lord gave him to do while he's out there on that on that island by himself. He said, "Right to him." He was happy to do it. Huh? I know he was happy to do it. Uh -huh. Okay, brother Henry. Uh, uh, which what which job was this? This is John the Apostle. Okay, this wasn't John the Baptist. Okay. No, this is what you call the song. Sometimes you get them mixed up. Sometimes people get them mixed up. Sometimes people still. Well, he, John the Baptist got his head cut off. Right. right. See, some people don't know that. Uh, some people don't yeah. know that, so, you know. This is John the Apostle. Well. 
Okay, 12 and 13. We finna wrap it up. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. Number 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed a garment down to the foot, and gird about the paps with a golden girdle. And so the best way to give a description of what he saw is in one word. D-I-E-T-Y. What does that mean? Deity. Yes, God. But he saw the deity of God. He was able to see something that just anybody looking wouldn't be able to see. Why? Because the Lord let him see it spiritually. Huh? And if you see him, it's going to be spiritually. Can't be natural because he's not natural, right? Amen. Yeah. And so when I said just that I've seen him, they said, "No, you can't say no man can see him and live." But I'm not a man. You're a child of God. But <laughs> how can you live? <laughs> Look how Justin said it, and he's right. Why can't you live? I am a child of God. Do what? Why can't you live if you see God? You said, why can't I see him? Why can't you live? How can you live? Uh -huh. If you see God. Because I belong to him. Why can't, yeah. why can't you live? I'm in relation with him. Tell, well, tell what the scripture says. She said, why can't you live and see him? What did our scripture say? It said, it said no man can live and see him. No man can see him and live. That's what she asked me. Why can't you live? I told her I'm not a man. Well, because the I'm answering the question. <laughs> I'm a child of God. That's how I can see. Because if you being a man, you would be, you wouldn't be spiritual. No, it wouldn't be spiritual. No, no. no. But you see, you have to be born again. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. Once, yeah. once you've been born again, you yeah. come yeah. into relationship yeah. with Him. Right. No more two, but one now. We are his people. And the what? Sheep of oh, his past. Yeah. So we really have to see it the way the scripture says. Because today, Matt, uh, 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 mother, get Matthew 18 for me. Hold your finger there. We're going right back to that. But I want you to read something so you can see it for yourself. Matthew chapter 18. When you get it, say it me. Okay. Read verse 1 and 2, Father. At the same time came his disciples unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of God? And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them. Read. And he said, Better than I say unto you, except ye be converted and become a little children, ye cannot enter into the kingdom there of God. There it is, Father. That's why I say I'm not a man. And you're not a woman. Anymore. You're a child of God. See? No man have seen God. It's talking about natural man. It's about if natural man see him, what would happen? What could happen, Michelle? He would die. Why? Because of sin. Because of the sin nature that is in there. Because what? Because of the sin, the sinful nature that is in there. Okay. What you say? Because God is holy. For a man to see his holiness, he would die. He would perish. Yeah. He's perfectly what? Holy. Holy. What's the next one? Righteous. What's the next word? And just. Yes. He's holy, righteous, and just. Natural man can't see him and live. He would die. Yeah. But when you became born again, 
Now you have a right to sin because you belong to him. Man don't belong to him. He created man. But man doesn't belong to him. Does that make sense, Leah? Yeah, I can't hear you, Dan. Yeah, but, but many people can't understand it because it's spiritual. Yeah. And and when you share with some, you really need to be in the spirit when you do it that they can receive something spiritual. Because they would never get it uh, by staying in the place. It, it, it's impossible that he could get it. Because the scripture said flesh is what? We. Okay, we. But it also says corrupt. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And God is holy. Those two things don't go together. Amen. What's the difference between weak and corrupt? What's the difference? Mm -hmm. Well, that, it's like we said. It, it, it's always reversed back to natural and spiritual. All flesh is what? What do that scripture say? Uh, it's corrupt. It's weak and corrupt. Uh -huh. Yeah, but it says all flesh is grace. Oh, okay. Ain't that what the scripture says? Yeah. It's weak. It's corrupt. By one man, what happened? Sin into this world. Sin came into the world. Yeah. And who was that one man? Adam. Jesus. See? And by one man, he's going to save the whole world. Who is that man? Jesus. But the scripture calls him the second Adam. Right, yeah, the second Adam. So, really, if you look at it in the, uh, uh, the spiritual way, there's only two men that ever existed that way. All the rest of us are just copies. We yeah. just... <laughs> huh? Yeah. The first and second Adam. That was it. From then on, it came through what? Came naturally. Oh, yeah. Through a man and woman. Right. But that's why the scripture talks about the first Adam and the second Adam. Because the first Adam came from where? From, from he came from earth. God. Come on, say it. Yeah, and the second Adam is God. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. All right, where we at? Twelve? Yeah, we still in Revelation? Yeah. yeah okay. Read 12, 12 and 13. Then I turned to see the voice that spoke with me, and having turned, I saw seven golden lampstands, and in the midst of the seven lampstands, one like the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to his feet, and girded about his chest with a golden band. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were like a flame of fire. So what 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 is he saying in this verse? We know he he was able to spiritually see deity. Right. <laughs> he didn't just see a natural man. He saw God, deity. Now what is he seeing now in verse 14? Head like, Head like a God. and hair like white like wool and white as snow and eyes like flame of fire. What do, what do y'all think he saw? I think he saw God. He saw, he saw a person that was completely sinless. Okay, Oh yeah, right. Okay. Mmm. Huh? Amen. Amen. He saw deity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he yeah, saw a person that was completely descendant. And look at 15. This is going to knock the ball mm -hmm. out the park. Read it, y'all. It's saying his feet was like unto a fine brass, and as, as if they was born in the furnace. Come on with it. And his voice as the sound of many waters. What do you think this was saying? He, he had, Feet were like sound of bread. Right. And what else? Voice, voice like, was like a sound running in the middle of water. And his feet looked like they had been burned in a furnace. Yeah. This represents judgment. Mm -hmm. And this is what he saw in the Lord. He saw, de he saw his deity. 
He saw that he was without sin, and he saw that he was the judge of all righteous judgment. Wow. Huh? Yeah. Sixteen to seventeen. Someone read. He had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth with a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was like the sun shining for its strength. In its strength. Come on. And when he, when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. He, but he laid his right hand on me, saying to me, "Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last." So, what does he say? He laid his right hand. Everything the Lord do is right. Amen. Ain't that right? Amen. <laughs> Every way you see him, it will be in the right manner. It will be what's going, his, what's going on spiritually his way. It can't be no other way, mother. It's got to be. Look what he said in, in uh, 17. I am the first and the last. What are you talking about, Mary? And he was the first and he was the last. So what did you say? I'm the first person. I'm the first person. I'm the last person. Okay. He's saying he's God. He's saying that he's God. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. 18. I, I, Live. It says, okay. I am he who lives and was dead and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I am the keys. These are his credentials. He is the amen. Come on, y'all. He's the ending of everything. Amen. Huh? Amen. I mean, he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I'm alive now forevermore, and I have the keys to the back door and the front door. Is that what he said? No. What he said? To heaven and hell. To heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't want to serve a God like that? Huh? Ooh, Shed, you mighty quiet. He's the first and the last. It, it was nothing before him, but ain't going to be nothing after him. Amen. He's everything. Amen. And we are, we, 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 it's our job to let people know that. If you ever find them, you done found everything that, that you, you need. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's what he mean by I'm the first and the last. Yeah. I'm he that was dead, but look at this. I'm alive forevermore. Something that he had to go through. But death, death, death couldn't, couldn't do nothing with him. Couldn't take, couldn't take. What was the question that come up? Old death. Where's that staying? Where you staying at? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, Gray? Where's your victory at? Amen. If the grave can hold you, then it's victorious. Come on now. <coughs> if the bullet or anything else can kill you, <laughs> then. What did you say? <coughs> His sting is sufficient. But it ain't going to be like that. Because can't nothing hold it. And it didn't hold it. And that's why he said, I am alive forevermore. This ain't going to never happen no more. I am the amen. Oh, my goodness. I'm talking about something that can make you shiver in your socks. Here it is. Because the world needs to know who he is. Yeah. <laughs> ain't nobody else there. Ain't nobody beside him. Ain't nobody before him now. I gave you Colossians 2 now. That's the key to the crux to trying to get people to uh, 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 confuse you or something like that. Tell me, you serving three gods. How are you serving three gods? What did he say? What did Paul say in Colossians 2 now? I thought you all would memorize it. Come on. For in him is doing us all. He said, in Jesus Christ lives the fullness of the Father and the Holy Ghost. Couldn't put no plane in there. One God, three persons. <laughs> How can you have one God and three persons? 
without it being three gods. The word person relates to what? Personalities. One God. But three different personalities. It's just that simple. But the devil loves to try to keep people confused with it. Oh, you can't believe that man. I could have shown so so he's not he's not natural, that's how. Right? Amen. Okay, where we at? Nineteen, read nineteen. Write the thing write the the things which thou hast seen and the things which are and the things which shall be hereafter. And twenty say the mysteries of the seven stars which that I saw is in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou saw it, saw it are the seven churches. What do y'all think about that? Thank you, Jesus. Anytime you receive a blessing from the Lord, say thank you, Lord. Amen. When He opens your eyes, Mother, when He opens your understanding, when He blesses your heart, thank you, Lord. Yeah. The world can't understand it, but we so little that we can't. Ain't that something? Oh, all right. Many of the eyewitnesses died because of the resurrection, but they had the infallible proofs. Today, you all have the infallible proofs. No matter what anyone says or does, you have the infallible proof. Scripture say he rose just like he said it would. Amen. He said if you destroy this body in three days, oh come on y'all. Amen. <laughs> yeah. We have the infallible proof. When Jesus was arrested in the garden, all of them ran and hid. They didn't stay with him, did they? They ran and hid. They were more afraid of the soldiers than they was God. Something wrong with that picture. Amen. What can keep you today, Mother? God. From what I just said. Say the fear of the Lord. Yeah. Don't mean to be scared of it. What do it mean? To reference. What does it mean? To reference him. Corrupt. To reference him. Respect. Oh, oh. Respect. <laughs> reference. I'm sorry. Yeah. It means to love him. Yeah. To reverence him. To honor things. him. Every way you can yeah, to praise. give him everything that you praise. got when it comes to praise, honor, and glory. He he wants that from his people. And when you do that, that's when it happens. Look at uh, uh, Matthew 26 again. We're coming down the home stretch now. Say Matthew. Amen. Uh -huh. We just want a couple of verses out there. Amen. We're in 26? Amen. Okay. Uh, Fifty-two and fifty-three. Somebody read that. 52 say, 52 say, then said Jesus unto the, to him, put up again thy sword in, in, in his, into his place. For all that they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. 53 say, thank it thou that I cannot now pray to my father, and he shall present his, presently give me more than 12 legions of angels. Yes. Two and three. Someone else. Fifty three and 54. But how then shall the scripture be fulfilled that thus it must be? Number 55. In that same hour said Jesus to the multitude, Are ye come out as against a thief with swords and staves for to take me? I sat daily with you teaching in the temple, and ye laid no hold on me. So what is the problem? Why is they so against him? Why, why do they want to harm him? Why do they want to do what they want to do? Because he's showing them their sin. They don't want to see it. One thing. See? In other words, they were guilt ready. Right, yeah. Truth can bring uh, uh, the guilty before justice. They always have said that. Read the last one, Mary. 
But all the, uh, but all, all this, this was done, huh? Uh -huh. But all this was done that the scripture of the prophet might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. See that? They want pe people wondered how could one man stand before Pharaoh and his whole army? How could he do it, Father? No, he couldn't. He's the king of kings. Lord. <laughs> That's how he can do it. That's right. Huh? Mm -hmm. He did it. Amen. Yeah. So I mean that the the if you if you just jumped up and started running and shouting, I'll understand it. Because it's that good to tell you exactly what it was that they did. One more, John 18. John 18. You need this context. John 18? Yeah, to be able to keep your blessing unblemished or tarnished before God. Because he said what he mean and mean what he said. Yeah. We in John 18? Amen. Okay, someone read 12 and 13. It said, then the band of the captains of, and officers of the Jews took Jesus and bound him. Look at this. And 13 say he led him away to Annas first, for he for he was father-in-law of the of what's it, how you pronounce it? Caiaphas. Caiaphas, uh -huh. which was the highest priest that same year. Y'all hear this? What did it say to do? It took him to Annas first. Yeah. Because Anna was the father-in-law. Of Caiaphas. That means that Anna taught Caiaphas in everything concerning being a high priest. And all of a sudden now, here he is Caiaphas. He's the high priest now. See, Anna says, a re what you call him, a retired high priest? Once one move out the way and let another one come up and take the place. Yeah. See, so. These two just knew they had everything, huh? To the place that no man could down it, knock it, or nothing else. Right Caiaphas Ky and Amos. Now watch this. Go ahead and read. Now Caiaphas, while he which gave the counsel of the Jews, stood there was a feeling that one man should die by the people. <laughs> Look, don't y'all see how it's coming? Go ahead, Father. 15. And Simon Peter followed Jesus, and so did another disciple. What that disciple was that? That disciple was known unto the high priest, and went in with Jesus into the place of the high priest. And most places you read, how many of the say things like that? Another disciple, another uh, apostle, Jesus. or something like that. But it's always related to John. 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 See, where we at, 16? Yeah. Come on, read. But Peter stood at the door without, then went out that other disciple, which See? was known unto the high priest, and spake unto her that kept the door and brought in Peter. Number 17. Then said the dancer that keep the door, that kept the door unto Peter, Art thou, uh, art not thou also one of this man's disciples? He said, I am not. Oh, my oh, God. Look at this. <laughs> Somebody yeah, put yeah, it in the door. Uh, oh, they're going on. You, you really have to, say, you know, the, the heat is on now. Yeah. Huh? He denied it. Yeah, they, they got you before the, the, the crooks. They got you before the, the world. They got you before something else. Are you really a child of God? No. I am not. <laughs> look, look at Peter. No. All right. No. Wow. <laughs> when 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 Justice was telling me about the evangelist and what he was doing and all that, I, I saw that. Uh, they said that. Yeah. That he would get you before the entire world and you would deny that you know. I never knew the man. Oh my goodness. Mm. 18. And the servant and officer stood there 
who had made a fire cold, for it was cold. Uh -huh. And they warmed, they warmed themselves, and Peter stood with them and warmed himself. Go ahead, me. 19. Asked Jesus of his disciples and of his doctrine. Number 20. And Jesus said unto Jesus asked him, I spake openly to the world. I even taught in the synagogue and in the temple, whither the Jews are always resort. And in secret have I said nothing. Now wait a minute. In what? Secret. He said, 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 I don't never say nothing secret. in secret. Right. So Everything I do is in the open. Right. In Go the ahead. So why askest thou me? Ask them which heard me. What I have said unto them. Behold, they know what I said. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. And I mean, that's, this is how awesome it is. Have you ever heard him speak? Who? Jesus. You, mother, everybody. I'm talking about all of you. And we are who speak? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. And we are who speak? Yeah. speak right you ever heard the Lord speak? Yes, he spoke to me. Yes, he spoke to me. Yes, he, spoke to me. <laughs> he spoke to me, uh, 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 not through his words, through his left ear over here. He spoke listen, to me. Listen, listen, listen. He spoke. Testimony. And to the, and, the, and the right, he spoke. Um, but he spoke to me first through this left ear. He was like, Bend it down over me. I would never leave you nor forsake. Look at it. And that other one said, You get ready to fall. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Believe you for sake of what is that called? What? A promise. It's a promise. Yes, yeah, a promise, yes. See? And, and Never I, leave you. I thank you for it. I still remember that. It was a long time ago, but I still remember that to this day. I was telling somebody about that last night, you know. That the Did Lord he ever, would be with you. Did he speak to you, Michelle? Mm -hmm. See that? But this is something that you got to know that you know that you know. You got to know this for yourself. That's right. Yes. Yeah, it, 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 it don't come through the book. It comes directly through the Spirit. Ain't that right? Amen. That's how you'll talk to him, how you'll know him, how you will see him. But if you don't belong to him, they say, oh, there ain't nobody saw him. I know it, because you don't belong to him. But you have to belong to him in order to see him. Yes, dear. <laughs> You did what? It's oh, Lord. Yes, I know you're right there. That'd be something I'd be trying not to hear. But I know it's coming. I know it's coming. All right. When we come back, we're going into John 20. John 20? Yeah, so you all help, help me uh, 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 keep that up in John chapter 20. And, 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 and the things that you read, go back if you didn't get the fullness of what you wanted to get out, read them again at home. Study them again. If you need some help, I ain't afraid. I call Justice in a minute. Huh? I'll call Merrill in a minute. i call... Uh, <laughs> i call all of you Yeah, because I dreamed about you that minute. night and I told Foster, I got here. I said, I ain't talking to you. I said, I ain't dreaming about you. I said, I ain't talking to you. Dreamed about it. Yeah. You, you really? Yeah.